Hey YouTubians, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Uh, I have a little bit of an update. Well, if you stick around for a bit, you'll see what else I bought. But I've been working on the travel all, and uh, weather has been awful, and I'm working out of my driveway. So I don't have time to make long videos, and I have obstacles in the way in terms of computers and software and all that. That's going to cost more money, and I'd rather throw money at the projects and make these short, unedited videos for you to look at. So. Without uh, any further ado, I got about eight minutes in 4K before this thing auto saves and breaks my videos in half and then uh, it's a dead end. So let's get right into it. Uh, I went to a town about an hour and a half away and bought some new used tires that are still on the 16.5 rims. These are some super swampers. They're a little old, but they are not cracked and dry rotted like the previous tires. So I am that much closer to getting this thing moving around. I have some metallic bronze paint that I want to throw on them. I got a tarp over the travel all because water gets in because it doesn't have good seals. What else is new? I came in here and I took the intake manifold off and the valley cover and replaced those gaskets to fix our explosion. A few more gaskets, a brand new carburetor because I haven't had time to rebuild the one I have outside. Um, and I got no place else to work on it. So let's see, new carburetor, new gaskets, um, a new starter, a new ignition switch. We're really running the gamut on this thing, but she's running pretty good. I need to tune her up and I think I'm gonna do plug and wires. I think these are probably at least 16 years old. And while they don't look too terrible, it seems judicious of me to get the sparks going because I'm not burning as well as I would like to in there. I got a little cylinder on the, or little, little oil on the plugs. And I think that's because there was so much gas mixed with the fuel um, that oil was getting into everywhere that it shouldn't. So we can move on now to my latest dumbass purchase which uh, I bought this car off of Craigslist and uh, it's a bit of a basket case. You know, the exterior is decent-ish. Uh, the inside is rough, rough, rough. And it's not worthy of a restoration by any means. Um, maybe, I mean, if you want to sink a bunch of money into it, you know, $20,000 for a $10,000 car, you know, you could be my guest. But I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna utilize it with my travel all and maybe start a business or a service i'm not exactly sure but honestly it seems like i dreamt this thing up i had been looking for a wagon model and um i declined to buy the wagon model because it was too far away and i didn't want to rent a trailer and then this other thing popped up on craigslist and it just seemed strange i don't know how else to explain it this car is so perfectly matched to the travel all i'll just turn around and show you this is a 1975 ford pinto in just about the same orange as the travel all with these big knobby tires on here i mean how could i turn this thing down it's had some engine work. I've got some new battery cables going on there. I'm pretty sure the starter's fried. It just sparks real heavily when I try and jump it. I'm told it runs, but I don't know because I haven't been able to start it. I thought it might be an ignition switch and those are pretty hard to find. Um, so I'm on a busy street. It's gonna be hard for me to really walk around this thing so you can get a good look at it. But you know, it's pretty clean. You look and there's uh, there's some rust there. I don't know if you can even see that with the way the light is, but there's some rust. Uh, that's kind of through rust there, but everything else is pretty solid. It's letting water in. So I've got to address that. But, you know, you walk around, there's a bus coming, it's gonna be loud. It's got almost all the badges. There's one up here, I think that was a Ford, and that's missing. But it's got all the Pinto badges. And the runabout badges. New tires, some engine work. I didn't pay a ton for it, but um, 
I paid enough to make me feel a little jaded. The guy had said he had repaired the floors. Oh, look at that, there's so much water in here. I hate kind of discovering this thing because of how many problems it has. But he said he repaired the floors and when I got it, it had this loosely fitted carpet in here. I pulled that sucker back and uh, he had repaired the floors with a couple of rivets and some really thin sheet metal which aren't gonna support seats for me and my family. So I'm gonna have to redo that. You can tell the driver's seat's in bad shape. This one's not too bad, but I kneeled on it and poked a hole through it, so it's got to go. There's a seat under here. There's a cool roof rack. There's the new starter in the box, but uh, it's wet and I'm on the busy street. One issue <coughs> is that these seat brackets uh, are Bluetooth, <laughs> at least part of them. Rust and Bluetooth combination. So I'm going to have to fabricate. Some seat brackets. I think that's what this box of things is for. Was he was planning on building his own, but couldn't figure out how to do it. Uh, I guess if you're gonna rivet a floor together and call it good and patch it up with a carpet, then maybe that's the way it goes. But you know, these door cards are a little warped. There's some rust on here. Some rust on the dash, you know. But nothing a little paint can't fix. I do love all of the Pinto badges, but thing is rough. He took the headliner out. He's got to replace one in there. I don't know. He got all black stuff, but all the cars tan. So I don't know what to do about that. That's surface rust. And that thing that looks like a hole actually has some silicone in it. So it doesn't appear to be letting water in. I don't know, guys. You tell me. Is that not like a perfect match? I was looking at a Pinto wagon. Um, it was a 1980. It was silver and blue. And it was in pretty good shape, rust-free. Didn't know if it ran. Was missing a window. And I passed on it, like I said, because it was four hours away and I I couldn't justify the expense of going buying a car. I didn't know if it was gonna run and hauling it and this, that, and the other. So I let it go and then this Pinto <laughs> popped up on Craigslist in the barter section and he was willing to trade. I, did, did I imagine it into being? I don't know, that seems a little unlikely, but I'm going with it. That's why I bought it. In the end, I had also declined on the orange Pinto. And in the end, I just had to decide to do it, to go with my gut. And it's rougher than I thought. You know, it doesn't look like he represented it quite so much. He wasn't super honest. Um, and maybe he just didn't know. I don't know. So now I got these two bright orange cars and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I thought I'd share it with you and I'm testing out a new demographic thing. So this video is gonna drop on Tuesday night at 6 p.m. and we'll see what happens. I hope you're all doing well. I hope this wasn't too boring for you. And I'll see you all around. Thanks for watching, bye.